channel. So today I got a new shipment of pots and pans in and I wanted to do an unboxing because it is American made with American steel. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um, these, I got them off Amazon and um, it said American made with American steel. Um, so um, this, these pans are made in Clarksville, Tennessee and uh, I don't really know a super ton about their company or anything, but um, it seemed like a pretty good product and I needed new pans for the induction range that we ordered. So let's go ahead and open them up and see what they're like. Right off the bat too, they came just in the um, regular box, not with like a second box on the outside. So the box is pretty banged up and I'm sad to see that a couple handles are hanging out the box. but. Um, there is a little scuff mark on the end, but I'm not that picky, so. Um. I'm kind of in a weird spot because our house is kind of under construction, so. Bear with me on that, but all right, so we got some styrofoam on top. It's pretty busted up, but, and then we got some instructions for cleaning, and here is the Heritage Steel crafted in Clarksville, Tennessee, and talks a little bit about their lifetime warranty and their mission and all that. Some things, these are a five ply construction and they use a special titanium um, in with their product. So starting off cleaning, cooking, user guide. If you're not familiar with cooking with stainless steel, and we got some cushion. So, all right, they're all taped together here. A couple, um, a lid and a couple pans. Let's see if I can find a good way to open them. Oh, there we go. That's just kind of ripped up. So here is one of the lids. Ooh, it's so shiny. So it's so differently shaped than my last lids. It's quite, like, pretty much completely flat, but it looks great in good condition and very shiny. I assume it fits this, this saucepan. I don't remember the sizes of all of these and I'm not even sure, what was it, like a 13 piece? Or I looked at so many different pans, I don't remember how many pieces are in here, but wow, this is a really nice large saucepan. It's got the Heritage Steel logo at the end and a really nice shaped handle. So that's pretty cool. Really deep, so that's nice. It's also got the Heritage Steel logo there. So this is the four quart saucepan and you can see they got the made in the USA logo on bottom it's pretty sweet it looks really nice all right then we gotta hold it so these are the two that had the handle sticking out the side so there's like the tiniest scuff it's not really damaged this is a 12 inch yes this is the 12 inch frying pan Super straight, looks in no damage, and looks nice. I really think I'm gonna like the shape of the handle. I like how it curves up, so to keep your hand away from the edge of the stove. And these are supposed to be the stay cool handles too, so all the rivets seem nice so far. They do have a slight gap between the rivet and the pan, so hopefully that's not a problem. I think it'll, actually, it might be easier to clean because you could really get a sharp object in there. All right. Here's another lid. This one goes with this pan. Pot, I should say. So there's a... The lid, it looks in good condition, no bends or dings, it's nice and shiny, no scratches. There is no logo on the lids, just on the pans. And their lids are very flat. Alright, and here is the pot. 
so excited about this one. I'm hoping that my steamer basket from my other, my old set, will fit. That way I don't have to buy a new one, <laughs> since that won't be touching the induction stove. I also figured that maybe I could get some of my old stainless lids to fit too, but we'll see. Wow, this is a really large pot and the handles are really nice. They have kind of a, a curve and they're really fat and it feels really nice in your hands, which is weird, but they got the Heritage Steel logo on top of both of those handles. Man, those are really nice handles and they have a nice space here for your hands. I have quite small hands, but I like how much space, my hand's not gonna hit that hot pan when I pick it up, so that's nice. These rivets are a lot closer to the pan than the uh, frying pan. But no damage, no dings, no scratches. Looks really nice. I really like how they put their logo on the bottom, Heritage Steel. It's got the 316 titanium stainless mix of some kind, the eight quart pot. So that is really nice. Nice weight too. I can't wait to try these. All right, but there is more. So hang on. All right, so right here we've got some more styrofoam. Kind of a neat little puzzle to keep the pans safe. It's a miracle, I think, that the handles came out on those. They were just placed just right. All right, so there's another frying pan and another pot and a lid. They're like really taped really taped together. I might have to cut this one with my trusty keys. Alright, there we go. Alright, so I got a small lid for the smallest pot. Same exact shape. They all have the same exact shape. Really, really flat. So if you're planning on putting something big inside of your frying pan, just know that you're not going to have a curved lid to to fit anything extra. And here is the pot. Now they do make a smaller pot, but it didn't come in the set, so really nice sized pot. Really great for some soups or sauces, gravies, whatever you want. This is the three quart. Love the shape of the handles. I can't wait to try them out. No damage to this pan either. It's nice. They're all really shiny. No scratches either, which is nice. Alrighty, so the last pan. This is the 10 inch frying pan. Very gently sloped side nice inside. I don't see anything to complain about. Nothing wrong with it. Looks perfect condition, just like you would expect. Nice, smooth bottom. Super excited. All right, so that's it. Um, maybe after I use them for a while, I will give you guys a review on what I actually think of the product. Um, I'm super excited to use American-made products. Um, whenever possible, I like to go with American made, um, but um, these are my first American made stainless. My last ones I got 15 years ago and they um, were made in China and uh, they were cheap. Um, and those lasted a long time, so I can't wait to see how long these last me, hopefully the rest of my life. So um, I'll let you know, I'll probably, it'll be a while because I'm waiting for my new induction range to come in. And then I will try these out, hopefully, and give you guys a review on what I think. Again, this is Heritage Steel from um, Tennessee. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and um, find me on Instagram. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.